those of you who have watched this channel before know that I only feed my snakes pre-killed, frozen, thawed prey items. And there's a reason why I don't do live feedings. In this video, I'm going to be explaining all of the reasons why I don't feed live prey to my snakes. My name is Pierce LaValle. This is Pierce's Planet. Stick around. is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel happy to be posting another video uh, I'm sorry if you can hear my AC in the background throughout this whole video but it is like a hundred degrees outside here in Sacramento I'm melting, melting. Oh, what a world, what a world. and so I need to keep my AC running or else this room will get you know way too hot so just want to put that out there in case you hear like a humming in the background that's my AC and my microphone isn't the greatest so I don't really know how to like completely block it out maybe I can't I don't know so about a couple weeks ago maybe a couple months ago I saw there was like just a lot of controversy surrounding this topic and when it comes to this topic in the reptile community it tends to come in waves like you know you'll see it a lot people will be arguing debating it and then it will kind of go away well now it's kind of gone away again and I figured that now would be the time for me to kind of talk about it because I didn't really want to do it while everybody else was talking about it and have my video get lost in the you know hundreds of others that were going to be getting made um, I wanted to kind of put mine off on its own and th that topic is talking about live feeding snakes in this video, I'm not going to be saying that anybody's wrong or right. I'm basically just going to be giving you guys my opinion. So I'm not even really going to be directly referencing the videos that kind of sparked this controversy. They happened a while ago. I think that's all over now. Um, so I'm not really going to be going into that specifically. I just wanted to give my perspective and tell you guys why I don't do live feedings personally. Basically, I thought the best way to make this video and to make it the simplest was to just make a pros and cons list and basically just go over the pros and cons of live feedings versus feeding your snake pre-killed prey items. This video by no means is me bashing anybody for feeding their snakes live prey items. There's plenty of reasons why you would have to feed your snake a live prey item. Hell, I even fed my snakes live prey items when I first got into the hobby. But as I got older and as I got more educated, um, I realized that I really didn't need to do it. It wasn't a, something that was necessary. And so that's why I'm making this video to hopefully educate other people and help them out when they're making that decision and try to steer them in what I think is the right direction. So let's start off with a pro. And I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys right now. It's probably gonna be the only pro that's on this list. And that pro is that feeding live prey gives your snake that natural hunting feeling. So what I mean by that is simple. In the wild, snakes aren't scavengers. They actively hunt and they kill and consume their prey. So the only way to mimic that in captivity is by giving them live feeders and letting them hunt for their own prey. If I'm being honest, it is fascinating to watch your snake hunt and kill its own prey. I'd rather see it in the wild, but I get why people would be fascinated with it in captivity as well. Okay, so now that we got the one pro out of the way, let's start talking about the cons and why I personally don't do live feedings. The first one for me is simple. They're tough to watch. I'll be honest, people can say that I'm a weenie, people can say that I'm a wuss, I, I don't care. I am an animal lover. I think that a lot of you guys watching these videos are animal lovers as well. I hate seeing animals go through pain. I hate seeing animals that are suffering. It's really hard for me to watch. And so seeing a snake um, attack a mouse in a cage and hearing that mouse struggle and watching that struggle for the mouse, uh, watching it struggle for its life, 
it's really difficult for me to watch. Like I said before, I have fed live in the past before I kind of knew any better and I had to basically just turn away because I couldn't really watch it. For myself personally, it's like an internal like crisis of morals inside of me. Like on one hand, I want my snakes to live and I want them to survive and I know they need to eat. They're carnivores, they're not vegetarians. Yep, yeah, eat it. Put it in your mouth and just eat it. God, I hate it. I don't care whether you hate it. You said Michael, you do it. All right, Michael. eat it. Eat it! I would love if they were vegetarians, but that's just not the way the world works. So on one hand, I know that they need to eat to survive, but on the other hand, I'm an animal lover. I've had pet rats in the past, and it's just, it, it, it sucks watching the animal go through that and go through that pain and that suffering. So I know what some of you guys are thinking as well, like, well, they have to die somehow. And, and that is completely true, but there's a different element of fear for that animal and suffering for that animal when they're being attacked by a snake or even like a monitor lizard or any other type of carnivorous animal. And there's a difference between that type of fear and pain and suffering and getting put in like a CO2 chamber, getting put in a gas chamber and going to sleep and dying that way. And so I just think, you know, like all death isn't created equal, right? Like there's painful ways to go and then there's less painful ways to go. And I think that the frozen thawed rats, the ones that are pre-killed, die in a way less traumatic and painful way than the ones that are getting fed alive to. So just, just my personal opinion. So another con for live feedings is one that a lot of people probably wouldn't expect. And that is that live feedings are actually dangerous to your snake. When it comes to mice and rats, and especially large rats, they are formidable prey items. They are no pushovers. Rats and mice have really sharp teeth and extremely strong jaws, especially rats. I mean, rats are known to chew through metal pipes. So if you do feed live, you have to make sure that you are in the room watching the whole time and make sure that your snake actually is successful in attacking and subduing its prey before you leave the room. Because if not, your snake can be in serious trouble. I learned this lesson in the hardest of ways. I don't know if I've ever told this story before on the channel, but if I have, I'm gonna tell, tell it again. There was a time where I had found a snake. I found a snake in my yard. Now, I lived in a really suburban area. I don't know if there were snakes in the area or not. I was probably about 10 years old. So, I had an extra cage, so I took the snake and took it upstairs. Now, this was during a time when I was feeding my other snakes live prey. So, I had just assumed that this snake that I had found would be able to eat live prey as well. So, a couple days later, my parents take me to Petco, we get live mice, throw them in my snake's cages, and I throw it in this snake's cage, and I do what I normally do, because I know all my other snakes can eat live and they know how to kill their prey, I just walk out of the room. I come back probably about two hours later to check and make sure that all my snakes had ate and that there were no rats still, or no mice still sitting in their cages. And when I came back into the room, the new snake that I had just put in the cage was laying there and the mouse was chewing on its head and it had killed it. And so as a child, that was just traumatizing for me. And so ever since that point, I always sat there and watched my snakes eat their prey until I finally made the transfer from live feedings to frozen thawed feedings. So you don't wanna be like me, trust me. You wanna make sure that your snakes are safe. So that's why feeding frozen thawed is a lot safer to do than feeding live. But if you are going to feed live and if you're just dead set on doing that, then make sure that you're watching your animals so that they don't get hurt. Another con to live feedings is storage. You could buy 100 pre-killed mice or 100 pre-killed rats, throw them in a freezer and not have to go back to the pet store for another six months. Whereas if you have, if you feed live, then you're gonna be going back to the pet store every time your snake or snakes need to eat. And if you do wanna keep a large amount of live feeders at your disposal, then that means you're gonna to have to become a rat breeder and breed your own rats. And that's just gonna take time, that's gonna cost money, and on top of it, I know in, in my case why I wouldn't be able to do it, because then you might get attached, you're gonna to to grow attachments to those animals because they're kinda of like pets, but then you're gonna to have to feed them off to your snakes, and it's just a 
it was a messed up situation. So in my opinion, when it comes to storage, it's just it just makes a lot more sense to go the pre-killed way and and just freeze your rodents. And finally, the last con of live feedings and probably the one that's going to be the most controversial. When you feed live and you post it online, it makes the rest of us look bad. Now again, I'm not trying to bash anybody for doing live feedings, I'm really not. There are plenty of reasons why you would need to feed your snake live prey, right? If a snake isn't eating, if it's refusing to eat, sometimes you have to offer it a live prey item. Sometimes certain species of snakes and certain snake individuals only eat live. You can't get them on frozen thought, so the only way that you can keep them alive basically is by feeding them live prey items. I get all of that. But when you feed your snakes live prey items and you post it to the internet, it just pushes that narrative that these animals are just mindless killers and that that's all they want to do is just kill 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 and torture little animals and that's that's not the case at all and there are educational ways to do live feeding videos to kind of show people how snakes hunt and how they would act naturally in the wild but in all honesty those aren't the types of videos that i'm seeing online the types of videos that i'm seeing online are all about views and who can get the most clicks and who could see the most make the most outrageous video of two animals from completely different parts of the world attack each other and just these horrible things and it's torture you know you're, you're torturing innocent animals I mean I've seen videos of people throwing live bunnies in, in with snakes I've seen videos of people putting pet lizards in with pet snakes and so you know I just hate seeing people benefit off of another living beings suffering and pain it's not enjoyable to me, you know. I, I, I watch animal documentaries all the time. I know that it's the circle of life and and animals attacking other animals and eating other animals. It's natural, I, I, I completely understand that. But it just, there's better ways to do it, right? And you know, I posted videos of me feeding my snakes pre-killed rodents, but I just think that there's a, just there's more of a disconnect there when the animal is already dead and it was killed in a humane way, then when it's alive, running around for its life, trying to get out of this area that it can't get out of while it's getting attacked. I don't know, it's just, it's not for me. If you're one of those people who feed live for the right reasons or you know in your heart, you know your heart is pure and that you're not doing it just for clicks and views or for your own weird, pleasure because you like seeing other animals get tortured if you you know the reasons why you do what you do and so I just hope that if you choose to feed live that your intentions are pure and you're not doing it for the wrong reasons and if you are one of those people who feed live just because you want to get views or you like torturing little animals you Again, this video isn't to bash anybody specifically. I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on this topic and hopefully help educate people who are just coming into the hobby on this topic. With that being said, I think that's gonna do it for today's video, you guys. So make sure you guys drop down and leave a comment. I know this could be a pretty controversial one and I'm actually interested in seeing what the conversations are gonna be like down in the comment section. So let me know what your opinions are about live feeding versus frozen thawed feeding. Do you guys prefer to feed live? Do you guys prefer to feed pre-killed? What are the reasons why you do either of the two? Don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and please, please, please share this video. Until next time, everybody, my name's Pierce LaValle, this is Simon, we are in Pierce's planet, and remember, it's all about the reps, baby. Peace. Living in, living in captivity for pretty much any species of animal can, can, living in, living in, uh, it's been a while since I've been so free. All right, I don't know why I did that. Okay.
Another, so another con. So another, so another con with live feedings is ones that. My name is Pierce Lavalley. This is Simon. We are in Pierce's planet, and remember, it's all about the rich, baby. Peace.